Hey, what's up guys, it's Bass from Tech Now with a quick question. Listen down to BrowserNet, which browser do you use? Most probably Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or the Internet Explorer. But there are many more browsers out there like Opera, Safari to name a few that also deserve the fame. In this video, I will be revealing which is the best browser out there and which one you should opt for. I'll be testing out 5 browsers that is Chrome, Safari, Mozilla, Opera and Mastodon in three different categories that is speed, performance and substance that is the security, privacy and all those features which make it a enjoyable experience. So without any further ado, let's get into it. For the first test uh, that is speed, it will be determined in two ways, the launch speed and the page load speed. To do this, I have set google.com as the default home page in all the browsers and have disabled all the extensions to make the result more accurate. So here are the browsers lined up with Safari at first, then Opera, then Max and Cloud Browser, following is Chrome and then Mozilla Firefox. So let's start Safari. And it was quick to launch with a speed of 2.17 seconds, that is brilliant. So let's move on to the next browser, that is Opera. Opera came in at a score of 2.65 seconds. That too is pretty amazing. And next up is Maxdown Cloud Browser. Maxdown Cloud Browser came in with a time of 2.76 seconds. All browsers seem to have equal competition in launch speed. So next up is Chrome. Chrome came in with a time of 3.08 seconds, which is surprising considering the fact that Chrome is supposedly to be the fastest browser out there. And next, Mozilla came in with an even poorer score of 3.98 seconds. For the next test, that is page load speed, I'm going to be trying it out with a website called gold.com. And let's start off the first browser that is Safari. This is going to time. So with the time of running this stuff, when the favicon appears, that is the icon present in the URL bar. Safari has finally loaded and took a huge time of 29 seconds. That's very cool. So, next up is Opera. Let's get gold.com over here. For those of you wondering why gold.com, that's because I love football and I would use it outside of me. Appeared. Next up is Maxton Cloud Browser and again in gold.com. So let's start. This seems to be a little bit faster coming at a time of 10.73 seconds which is fairly impressive and next up is Google Chrome which has high expectations
and it came in the time of 11.35 seconds that too is pretty good compared to safari and next up is firefox which is which i think personally is a quite underrated browser so let's go on to goal.com and enter this has been loaded really fast super fast speeds and took a time of only 8.34 seconds to load the complete page up the results were determined by adding the launch time and page load time and dividing it by 2 and here were the results after I did this at number 5 came Safari with a score of 3.2 out of 10 that's very low and even though its launch time is the quickest among all of them, its page load time really, really sucks. At number 4, it was Opera with a score of 7.4 out of 10. And at number 3, it was Crow with an impressive score of 8 out of 10. At the second spot, it was Maxton with a score of 8.4 out of 10. And at number 1, edging by only a little over Maxton, it was Mozilla Firefox with a score of 8.8 out of 10. Even with the slow launch time, its page loading speeds was noteworthy and hence taking the speed title. Next up was design. And I have to say all the browsers almost used the same format of design. But there were a few exceptions like Maxton which was a little bit unique. So let's start off with Safari. Safari looks similar to its Apple version and I personally think it looks fake. Opera looks better with a neat toolbar and it has a very light UI which adds up to the performance and looks pleasing to the eye. There are also many themes to choose from making it very customizable. In Maxstar web browser, we see a big change in the whole UI. There is a toolbar on the top and another bar on the left hand side containing the Maxstar passport that acts like Chrome sign-in and all the data will be shown like bookmarks, tabs, etc. On the toolbar, there is the search box which expands on click, a small feature but a neat one. And with skins and choosing a custom image as your own skin, this is the best designed browser. Chrome is very similar to Opera except for the fact that there is an Opera drop down and none in Chrome which give it a neater finish. The URL bar doubles up as a search bar and which can be an issue which I'll be explaining later on. Firefox has a clean and minimal UI. In the toolbar, the tabs are shown and next to it is the Mozilla drop down menu. There is a search bar that also works with downloads, home and bookmark buttons. Below this is the most visited bookmarks. So in the design, all browsers fared equally well with Safari coming at 7 out of 10 and at number 4, 3, 2 was a tie among Opera, Mozilla and Chrome with a score of 8.5 out of 10. And at number one spot was Maxton, which blew us all away with the skin, hence giving it a high customizability and getting a 10 out of 10 from me for this design. Next up comes functionality. All the browsers have a almost similar functionality, so I'll only be showing you the things that caught my eye. All the browsers have a wide variety of extensions to choose from with Chrome on top with the most number of extensions. And the private browsing feature is present on all the browsers. Opera has done a lot with the browser, adding a ton of features like Stash which is a read later and a new Discover which shows you what interesting uh, things are happening. Off-road mode helps you to save data when you are on the go while using a laptop and you want to limit the data used by compressing the packets received. Opera's move to WebKit and then Choosing the Chromium engine signals a new, much more competitive push by the Scandinavian browser maker to keep up with its PDA demands, yet still maintaining some of its classic signature features of its previous versions. It combines the Argos bar and the search bar, which is a security risk because everything you type in Argos bar is sent to Google and all the respective search engines and can be used, and can be used by the hackers. That's not all, there is mouse gestures and rocket gestures that just add up to the total experience of the browser. 
With Maxon, you get a two-page rendering engine that is WebKit and Trident for compatibility. Good support for new web standards, cloud syncing of tabs, passwords, and more is just some of the brilliant features of Maxon. It has an inbuilt ad blocker, which is a neat touch. It has great support for HTML5 content. This also has gesture support and the ability to push web pages to your other devices. There is also a quick note button, which can be really helpful. Firefox has not much under the hood except for some few tiny features like the smooth scroll, which adds up to the browsing experience. It has the best privacy settings, social network integration via API, and my Mozilla Firefox is mainly used by developers for making websites. As I, as we tweak with the HTML core of the page by just inspecting the element, it has a built-in PDF viewer support for the web RTC that is allowing a website to use a microphone and your camera that can be really cool. So far, it comes at a score of 7.0 out of 10. And Chrome comes with a score of 7.2 out of 10. Mozilla at number 3 with 8.3 out of 10. At number 2 is Maxcon with a score of 9.0 out of 10. And at top comes Opera with a score of 10 out of 10 for all its features and overall functionality. So in the end, the best browser comes down to personal choice. If you like speed and raw speed only, you should go with Mozilla Firefox as it has wonderful page load times even though its pale launch speed is very low. But overall, on a whole, which browser is the best? I would have to say it is Maxdown or Opera browser because these two browsers were good, not only good, brilliant in every aspect that speed, functionality, functionality, design, everything. So in the end, I would be suggesting either Opera or Maxdown. And if I even further had to choose one, I would go with Opera. Opera has lots of features with it and with amazing launch time speed and functionality even though its design is not one of the best so that's it guys hope you like this video please hit the like button if you did subscribe if you haven't already see you in the next one until then sayonara